first, I painted the shell as if it had no pattern at all. Then I began to lightly map the pattern with a pale glaze. I continued to map the pattern using a little more pigment in the mix. I then finished the pattern with opaque color using darker values near the edges of the form. The painting was then allowed to dry thoroughly. Okay, I'm going to try to paint the highlights on this Nautilus shell. I'm using underpainting white with the tiniest amount of brown ochre light made by Old Holland. And this is a very beautiful highlight. It's kind of an unusual one. I'm using a number two Simply Simmons flat brush. Very opaque paint. working on dried paint so I can, if this doesn't look good, I can wipe it off and try again. Surface has been oiled out. I've mapped the circle, or not the circle, but the curve along which this highlight travels. It's a very uh, interesting highlight. It, it, every highlight um, defines the surface gives you a lot of information about what the surface is that you're seeing. And the color of the highlight is telling you the temperature of the light that's causing the highlight. I'm trying to keep the paint um, reasonably thin not very thick. And this, one of the surprising things about highlights is they usually take more than one coat. The first coat rarely is bright enough and light enough. That surprises a lot of people. would have to rotate the panel in order to get the direction of these things, but so far I seem to be doing okay. 
I would rotate it if this weren't working. There are a couple of little reflected highlights that are happening down here, but I'm going to ignore those because I think that the viewer would not understand those. This highlight is dry. I'm just hitting it one more time to slightly lighten it. Now I've switched to a detail brush and I've really got it loaded with white paint. And I'm going to come back to the very center of these little lines and I'm going to hit right at the center. Which hopefully will really make them pop. That's actually what I'm seeing on these highlights. Sometimes I do it just to be dramatic, but when you do that on a highlight, it will make it glow. You see how that's making that really pop? Now this right here is the center most high drama part of that highlight. Right there. so much so that the lines actually join. I gotta take some time with this and really study it because if I let it dry, then I'm stuck with it. Then I would have to do some serious work to get rid of it and I'd really have a lot of repainting to do. I probably would just have to live with it, whether I liked it or not. So I really have to think about this, which means backing up and really looking at it. All right, I'm going to study it. <laughs> 